Hey guys, and welcome back to Persona 5 Royal. In the last episode, we finally beat Hanashiro's Bute behind butt, whatever you'd like to call it. Um, and we, um, finally fixed the, the video quality. <laughs> finally fixed some things, finally got got it tuned right and we are rocking oh excuse me yep still coughing still the same day i've been recording all day because i've just i haven't gotten recorded like a long time so having thought i'd have some fun today anyways Today we're going to be starting a new confidant with the one and only. Yes, we actually have to walk there. Oh, okay. We'll actually be starting two confidants today. One that we have to do like immediately, that I recommend all people do like immediately. Anyways, this is the second floor. Yeah, right? Where's the library? We'll just fast travel to the library. There's the next door. Hey. That said, all we can do now is wait until Kanashiro's change of heart becomes clear to us. Do you have something on the third floor? Or do you need something on the third floor? You come to the Oh god. Have you come to study in the library crap? Um, came to see you. you have a minute? Seems your studies paid off. Have you been working hard? It seems I have enough knowledge to actually invite someone out. Who would have known that that would be something stopping you is not having enough knowledge to hang out with someone. Um, yeah, we're going to be starting a confidant out with Makoto today. There's something I want to ask you. It doesn't get in the way for studies, that is. Uh, I can lend in here. Thank you very much. Now then, let's find some more better to talk. The courtyard should do. <coughs> I'd like to talk to you about something. Do you have a moment? Oh, this is what's acted. Cool, I don't have to talk. Up until now, I've been the quintessential honor student. I believe I've been handling my position as student council president with ease as well. And I don't mean that in a boasting way, that's simply how I've thought about it. But in the end, I was unable to make any kind of impact with either Suzui-san or Kanashiro. Turns out there's no use for a rule-abiding honor student when things get rough. Now that I'm a member of this team, I want to do everything I can to help you all. All my studying up to this point has kept me quite narrow-minded. I think I will need to broaden my horizon somewhat. My first step will be to learn more about the other students, but I struggle with that. There seems to be a disparity between my tastes and those of my peers. I don't even know where people like to go for fun. It would be nice to have a grasp of such concepts. Plus, the student council must be responsible for understanding the student body they serve, right? I don't mean that in a surveillance way, I just want to know them as people. I may be a phantom thief, but that's no excuse for me to start ignoring my presidential duties. Now, back to the topic at hand. Where do people usually go for fun? people talking about going to the arcade to be perfectly honest i've never been to one myself do you think you could take me i'm not sure if it'll broaden my horizons per se but simply studying won't get me anywhere thank goodness i think i would have been totally lost in there had i gone by myself well let's get going So this is 
where everyone comes to enjoy themselves. There are more girls here than I expected. Hey, over there! You play by aiming the gun at the screen, right? That actually seems somewhat realistic. Hmm. I if it's okay with you, do you think you could teach me? I did it! So this is how it is. Of course, that was just a game. But I wonder if I could apply some of the techniques I learned here during battle. Perhaps going somewhere I don't normally frequent is what helped me come up with that idea. You know, it may only be a little bit, but I think I'm starting to understand how people pass time. Interesting. I would have never even thought about coming here before. I... Hey, do you think you could help me out again later? I might be able to give the team more ideas if I can gain increased knowledge outside of my studies. to live up to your expectations now that I've taken up your time. Perhaps it won't be immediately, but I'm sure I can be of use. There must have been people who obstructed your actions as the Phantom Thieves. You managed to overcome them because you had someone who specialized in analyzing enemies. Isn't that right? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the priestess persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. By the way, you went to the red light district when you were chasing after Kanashiro, right? I'd like to go there as well. No, not for my own purposes. To tell you the truth, I recently got a report that one of our students was spotted there. I'm skeptical, but I'd like to confirm firsthand for myself. Well, it's getting late. Let's go home. Thank you. For setting aside some time for me today. It's always hard for me to come to places like this on my own, so you've been a big help. I've had all kinds of new experiences today, and it's even been a little fun. Let's go again sometime. Yes. Good idea. After all, there's clearly plenty more I can learn there. But before that, you should go to the red light district like we discussed before. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to keep you. Careful on your way home. I'll call you later. All right, then. See you. Ah, you're <coughs> back. Hey, you see the article? No. It's some. It's an interview from some kid from school. Boy M tells all rampant abuse in the Kamashita case. That's what it said. It's mostly about the physical punishment. You think this boy M is Mishima? Probably. Guess it might be him after all. I mean, the fan sites, the fan site things, been a huge help too. Probably finally me. 
Yeah, do this in your arm. See you later. That article. Do you think the reporter we met at Crossroads could have written it? Written? Wrote. Could have wrote it. Just as I thought. The author is listed as Ichiko Oya. I see. This article might end up being useful for us. True. If the palace ruler <coughs> sees it and his I didn't say how I said true. Changes, that means shut up. Hey, we'd be missing out if we didn't use this to our advantage. If we have her paint us in a positive light, public opinion of us will change for the better. We should go try and get her to write some more articles about the Phantom Thieves. Wonderful. You'll withdraw then accept this persona. Yes. I should write something. Oop, I have my mic muted. Alrighty, now it's time to do some more stuff. As I know all you guys like that stuff. <coughs> Anywho. How do I? I swear, I haven't even played Strikers in two months, and the controls for Strikers got me all screwed up for controls in this game. Anyways, we're gonna have to Shinjuku. And then we're gonna hit up the flower store over here. Is it? It's... Oh. I'm like, the map is confusing me. What would you like? We can now buy the Mega Fertilizer. Personally, I'm just gonna buy 10 of them. Just so we're set for like, the rest of the game. <laughs> You can only you only have to buy one at a time. It doesn't it doesn't matter. But now we're gonna return back to LeBlanc. We are going to let's see here. Hey, hey! Give our plants some nutrients. The Mega Fertilizer gives you more kindness, basically. Yes. And we're gonna head back to Shinjuku. Hope everyone's day is doing well today. Mine is doing okay. Hope you guys are subscribed. If you're not, make sure you hit that subscribe button and you like the video. As we jump in to the next confidant we're going to attempt to start today. Hey, it's that fortune teller everyone talks about. Are you gonna get your fortune run? Yes, I am. Greetings. Oh, hello. Please take a seat. Voice room. Hello. Oh, I need to give her a voice. I don't know what voice to give her. Hello there. This is your first time here, yes? It's not often that I get young men stopping by my stand. Anyway, my name is Shiaha Mifune. We'll be reading your fortune today. Um... You can begin by telling me your name. Shouldn't you already know it? I suppose I could attempt to divine it if you'd like. Let's begin with your last name. Is it Yamaoto? Or maybe Mishima? Perhaps Amiya? Or Amamaya? My bad. Hmm. This may take longer than expected. Ah. Uh, Ren, um, uh, Ami. I still struggle to say his last name. Amiya. Ama Maya. Ama Mia. Ama. Amai. Ama Maya. It's Ama Maya. I'm a Maya. I'm, in, I'm just gonna say I'm a Maya. I'm a... I'm, no, I'm a Mia. Because there's an I, so it's I'm a Mia. You guys are watching me struggle right now. Congratulations. Ah, right now I'm a Mia-san. I see. Your name is quite lucky. 
That aside, what type of constellation can I answer? Can I interest you in today? Consul consult consultation. Words. English. Nice. Give me the full package. Very well. I suppose the life of a high schooler is difficult after all. Now then, let's start with an initial reading to test the waters of your fate. Here we go. Oh, divine power, bring forth this boy's fortune. Your first card is... Hmm, I see. What for the second? Oh! Next is... Yes, I've seen everything. A stream of light obscuring the sun. Like an arrow tearing through the sky. Here it is. I see. There seems to be new wealth in your future. Your financial fortune is looking good today. This wealth of which I speak will come from your house. Head home without detour and precisely 5,000 yen will await you there. I'll do just that. Yes. As you should. Fate is absolute. But what is this? How strange. The general flow of your future seems to indicate ruin and an inmate locked away in a lonely cell. You seem to be a good person, but are you perhaps mixed up with the wrong, wrong crowd? Beyond that, my, it seems continuing on your current path will lead to your death. And how can I avoid that? I cannot have offer advice to that end. That's impossible. Hmm. If the deviation is coming to me this clearly, the truth of it is simply undeniable. Although, now that I think about it, there may be a way that you can attempt to counteract your destiny. Hmm. All you need is my special spiritual object, the Holy Stone. With its power and your control, you can even avoid the most unfortunate of futures. Probably. I typically only recommend this to my more experienced customers, but your situation is too dire to ignore. You see, the stone itself is imbued with an aura of joy that will sap away at the horrible energy surrounding you. All you need to do is keep it wrapped in cloth and be sure to recharge its power in moonlight every three days. What do you say? As for the cost, it's only 100,000 yen! Not bad for an item that can gain your very future, yes? This seems suspicious. It's, it's legitimate, I promise. So, you really don't want it? What a shame it will be too. What a shame it will be to see the flames of youth snuffed out so soon. Well, come see me again if you change your mind. I can- I really can help you if you'd like. Alright. That seems kind of bogus to me. Ah, you're back. Oh, you're home. I've been waiting for you. Oh. She seems strangely happy. I wonder what's going on. Hey, Ren. How's the pocket money situation looking? Pretty fine. I got about 360 in the storage. Ah, you're hopeless. Says you. Here. For real? Wait, is this 5,000 yen? I won some money from the lotto. So I don't mind sharing my winnings. Thanks. <laughs> See? That can be nice sometimes. The rest is on you. Anyway, make sure you close up the shop like always. Hey. hey, so does that mean that fortune teller was right? I think so. She even got the amount spot on. Maybe that she high like that lady can really seriously read into the future. Wait, this is bad. Didn't you say you were gonna die? Come on, we need to talk to her again and figure out what to do. AKA, come on, Ren. We need to go and blow a hundred thousand yen on a rock that's fake. And maybe I can have her read my compatibility portion with uh Oh. Um, never mind. <laughs> it seems like Shihaya Mifune can actually see into the future. Maybe I should go back and have her read my fortune again. And then there's the Holy Stone, too. She said it cost 100,000 yen. Well, 
Now it's only gonna cost 95,000 yen. All right. June 25th. Let's do it. Let's do it. Today, we are going to be spending some time with the Emperor, aka. This is your power. By the way. <laughs> I keep forgetting that whenever I do that thing, my mic is muted. Anyways, I just screwed up my whole setup. Also known as Yusuke Chicago. <laughs> It's, it, it's ruined now. It's ruined. Ah. Why do I always, like, as soon as I start saying something of another character, I look and I'm like, oh crap, I'm muted. Ah. I would like to speak with you about the painting I developed with Mementos. Do you have time? I do. <laughs> I hope you do not find it too disturbing. Wait for me over at the lawn. I will bring the painting over there. Please hear me out. Right. This is my completed form of the draft earlier. I would like your honest opinion if you would. It's novel. <laughs> <laughs> Just as I'd hoped. Hmm. But is that truly all you have to say about it? I would like something more concrete. A 400 word review should serve that purpose nicely. Regardless, this is how I choose to interpret the idea of desire. Indeed. It is the foul charm held deep within the abyss of the heart. To be honest, I believe my ability to capture desire so elegantly is all due to our mementos foray. I've grown to understand the intricacies of the heart in a way I'd once thought impossible. To tell the truth, Ren, I intend on submitting this piece to an upcoming public art exhibition. <laughs> Nobody has seen the abyss of the heart in such a raw manner before. The discourse will be fascinating. More importantly, it shall be the spark that revitalizes my slumbering art career. I can't wait, man. Indeed. I expect you to accompany me for the moment it is finally revealed to the general public. Hmm, I'm sure this will be the most sensational experience for those who opt to undergo it. A raw, unbridled look into the depths of the human psyche. And I was the one who was able to bring it to light all thanks to your assistance. Thank you. You have my sincerest gratitude. But yeah, our bond with Yusuke is growing deeper. And we will rank up to rank two. Hmm. I deeply anticipate that the public reaction. I deeply anticipate the public reaction at the exhibition. My voice. <laughs> I don't know, I'm probably gonna have to get some water here soon. But for now, I should be going. My apologies for disturbing you. See you. Farewell. I saw Yusuke off to the station. <laughs> you know I am. I'm... I'm going to get water. I have obtained the item, water. I want to thank you again for earlier. Giving a raw, unfiltered opinion was invaluable. I was even able to come up with a new inspiration thanks to your help. Or did you say new in- oh. New interpretation thanks to your help. I'm on a roll right now. I shall keep up this momentum and apply it to the Phantom Thieves as well. 
I mean, you're already doing enough, man. You helped us out last place. No, I can guide us to even further greatness. Ah, your presence amplifies my ambition. What a strange fellow you are. I hardly wait to hear back. I can hardly wait to hear back about the public exhibition so I can share the joy with you. I will contact you again later. Expect good news. Alright. Ah, you're back. You know, I've been curious. What's Kosei like? Is it filled with guys like you stay? I imagine there are a lot of different people there. Now that you mention it, I have one very <laughs> oh my god. I have one very interesting classmate. He's a female Soji player, and seemingly quite skilled one at that. Are you talking about Okumi Koga? Remember hearing she's a student at Kose. They say she's the most beautiful Soji player around right now. Dude, that sounds too good to be true. Give me some more info. I do not know much about her. About her. She's not the kind of person to let others close to her. Sounds like she only focuses on her uh, soldier pursuits. After all, it's said she's a lone genius. However, I have heard she is commonly seen at the church over in Kanda. For real, we've got to go. You'll probably get struck down by a lightning of, by a bolt of lightning if you're going for that ulterior motive. This ain't it. That ain't it. This is where the band of thieves. I mean, Shogi is kind of a battle, right? She got to know all sorts of insane strategies and stuff. Uh, that is quite the stretch. Richards are supposed to be holy. Don't do this for you, G. You guys are gonna pay for this one day. Ren, you go spy on her for me. Find out if she's really cute as they say she is. Let's ignore that idiot. Anyway, a shogi expert, huh? Striking an enemy with but a moment's inspiration? Skillfully strategizing toward victory? Those might actually be good tactics to know for our work as the Phantom Thieves. You said she's at the church in Kondo, right? We should check it out when you have the time. All right. We can now go to Kanda. But we won't be doing that yet. I don't know. Currently, the episode will probably end up doing that, but I don't think that will. Chihaya is our main focus. Exactly. There's a reason why we money grinded in the last palace. Reason A, to get richer. Reason B, to buy armor. Oh. My bad, did I ever sell? I don't think I did. No, so let's go do that now. Well, we, well, I remembered anyways. Before we, um, do anything else. Because we kind of need all the money we can get right now. Okay. You should be great. Yeah, actually 30,000 yen. I'll take it. I guess that's fine. You should be grateful. Um, golden vest. Why did I buy armor when I had a golden vest? Do I need to start checking my inventory? <coughs> um, four thousand. You seem to help. What is the about that uses bad weather to ail people? Still have soul boots that cause the crap ton. I remember these. They're oh, kind. They're kind of OP though. That's why I'm not selling any more of them. Anyway, we are going to head back to Shinjuku. And we're gonna stop by Shihaya again. Oh, 
You're that guy from the other day, right? I remember you. You had a very abnormal destiny, as I recall. Please, take a seat. <laughs> you want to purchase a holy stone, huh? For just 100,000 yen, you can change your fit, uh, mm. fate. For that much, it'd be better not only change your fate, but give you incredible luck. You do end up buying one. We should go home and test it out. What would you want to do? I'll buy one. Thank you very much. Here you go. I think they get like a female voice mm -hmm. actor, man. Like, my voice is high pitch, but no. I can't. I need another person to help master these other people. That's a smart thing to do, considering this is the only way to avoid misfortune. It's already charged with happiness with a happiness aura, so you'll feel the effects right away. Don't forget to recharge it with moonlight every three days. Please stop by again and let me know how your fate has changed. Goodbye. I should head home. Ah, uh, you're back. Uh -oh. You're home. Just about to close up shop, but got to turn the stove off. I guess start getting for I guess you start forgetting things more the older you get. Last time you went to that fortune teller, the chief won the lottery. I wonder what kind of luck we'll have this time around. It should be pretty awesome, right? I mean, we paid 100,000 yen for this holy- Ow! What the heck? Hey, can't you keep this thing a little cleaner? I can't be comfortable with all this gravel at the bottom of the- Wait, Ren. I have a bad feeling about this. Hey. Do you mind looking over the shop? The <laughs> shop will I- For real? The, the stone shattered! What's gotten into you? Whoa. Huh? This tastes salty! Hey, the holy stone is just salt! Mm -hmm. Ren, what's going on? Uh, I'm just a bit salty. You're salty? That reminds me. I was just about to head out, head out and grab some salt from the shop. Well, here it is! Take my bag. I'll be back in a bit. Hmm, mm, I think this is technically rock salt. I've seen the chief grinding some up before. Wait, in that case, maybe the holy stone is supposed to help you get better at cooking. Um, I don't think that's right, Mona. But, but, if that's not it, then what's it for? Hold on a second, the holy stone was supposed to change your future, not improve your cooking skills. No way. So that holy stone was really just the phony stone in the end. That fortune teller's name was Shihaya, right? She clearly has some kind of mystical power, but this is just unacceptable. We need to go complain to her. Turns out the holy stone I bought from Shihaya was a fake. I should go talk to her and try to find, figure out her true intentions. Wonderful. Her confidence is kind of like Mishima's, by the way, which is awful. I'm gonna be opening up the shop soon. So I need you to do the dishes once you're done with that. Yes, sir. Hey. Guess we can respond once the dishes are done. Make sure you think uh cheap for breakfast, okay? Oh, we never get his packaged food anymore. Well, then. That reminds me, the home shopping program is hurting today. You wanna check out the TV? Sure. But first we're gonna Go to Shibuya because I can. I completely forgot, but just remember now that we were doing the whole lotto thing. Whoops. I think I, it ended like the 13th or something. I forget. Hey, we made 2,000 yen. Wow. Welcome. Seven three. Now we are. I guess we can save. What is today? What is today? Oh, today is Sunday. 
guess that means you guys know what time it is. I do. Juice lady! Give me some juice. That's quite a color. I would not want to drink that. Nice chugging, that's how you do it. Good job, I was watching you try so hard. And we will get one point of charm. <laughs> okay, now that you're healthy, let's go somewhere else. We are gonna just add this. overwrite this here. Alright. Now we're going to... I have a question regarding the red light district issue. Remember how I told you I wanted to go there? Well, how does today sound? I'm unfamiliar with the area, so I was hoping you would be able to guide me around. Can you make time for it? Sure. Go right away. Thank you! Well then, let's meet up with in Shinjuku. Oh, and make sure you come in dressed in normal clothes, okay? Unless you can take a walk around the station while you're doing stuff. Is that I just drank. Excuse me for one moment. That cup was not clean. Oh god, that was disgusting. I'm just gonna eat now. Well, this wouldn't be a... Alright. There's so many people here. I guess this really is the biggest red light district in Asia, huh? The only this place is a hotbed for criminals and illegal immigrants before they install surveillance cameras. I heard there's quite a few uh, brothels as well. Um, you are very well informed. Yes. Well, I heard a great deal about it from my father. This is the first time I've actually been here myself, though. Regardless, it's become far safer now than it used to be. Of course, the surveillance cameras, cameras played a substantial role in that. But it was mainly thanks to police efforts to clean up the area. But... Even so, there's no way to eradicate crime completely. It seems the operations nowadays are only better hidden. Shall we go? Anyway, seeing is believing, yes? Come on, let's have a look around. At Makoto's request, we walk separately through Shinjuku. Countless men find to start conversations with her. Figures. <sighs> Did we lose him? That guy was so persistent. Oh my. He must have been a scout for a hostess club. He mentioned how his, his girls get paid a lot to wear cute dresses. And all I wanted to ask was if there was any shooting students that worked there. But he nearly dragged me inside with him. You haven't been here to rescue me, I... You should have known better. Well, um... I, I mean, he did seem suspicious. That was exactly why he seemed like a good person to ask. Hmm, I guess that's how they do it. I've learned something new today. Thank you very much. Oh, thanks again. It seems you have a knack for helping me out. I hope I can do the same for you someday. I sense a quiet result from Makoto. All right. Hmm. That aside, even though there is a shopping district, there are absolutely no students around here. Definitely no fusion students. 
Though I guess it wouldn't come in uniform either way. Well then. Huh? Yeah, are you sure about that, Chief? Huh? There's a contradiction! Objection! That was... Did you notice this? He used to be in the same class as her. But why is she here? The after-school salon? What kind of place is that? Hmm. I'm not sure, but it seems suspicious. I'll have to ask her about it. Oh, and I'd like you to be there too as my witness. Would that be okay? Sure. Well, we spent quite a bit of time here. Let's head back to the station. All right then. Thank you for today. Hey, um, I wanted to thank you again for tagging along today. That was the first time I've ever had to deal with a barker. I didn't know they could be that persistent. Today was exhausting, but I also learned a lot. I guess nothing beats practical experience. Couldn't agree more. Honestly, I realized I can't solve these problems on my own. It took what happened today to make that clear. I also plan on looking into that Shujin suit that we saw there. It'd be great if you can come help me with that sometime. For now, see you later. Somehow my friend knows- someone my friend knows got quiet now. Did someone really get kidnapped? Seriously, that's horrible. Apparently you can never shake him off. They said it's heck. I hear they get really aggressive. Nice. Ah, you're back. How is it? That reminds me, the home shopping program is there today. You wanna check out the TV? Sure. Dark power set. Black rock and I just bought a rock. Why do I want more rocks? First tool set: five inch nail and a straw doll. Hey, hey. Yeah, it's gonna be a no go for me. We'll be back here soon. I I just looked and I completely forgot to do something on the twenty third. So give me a moment, please. Yeah, I guess I'll include it now. I forgot to watch the TV. Um, it's ordering food without money. I don't care about what you say. I just. Our knowledge will actually go from scholarly, scholarly to encyclopedic. Okay. I'll catch you all back three days from now. Hopefully, good lord help me. Hey, at least I noticed it now. Give me credit for that. And the issue has been resolved. Who would have thought? It's, it's magic. Anyways. <laughs> Honestly, whenever I screw up, it only takes a minute to stop, <laughs> though. I should, I should be something. very lucky. I only had one save left in the 23rd, and it was that night. I should be super lucky. <laughs> but notice. 43.17, That was the underground walkway. You see how quickly things can just be easily manipulated and changed? <laughs> That's how quick this game this game can be beaten in 16 hours there's so much dialogue and things to do in the game though that it takes forever that's how it's so magical anyways the last event of the episode <laughs> today we'll be going to see Shihaya one final time <laughs> Let's ask Chihaya about the bully thing. Hmm? She's with the client. 
Sounds like they're talking about the Holy Stone. Do you want me to eavesdrop on them? Sure. Um. How are you healing? No, I'm fine. It's my fault anyway. You just said so. He says he doesn't want to hit me, but, he, but I just make him so mad. I suggest you break up with him. Things are only gonna get worse at this rate. But, but I'm the only person that cares about him. If I leave, how will he survive? Please, is there any other way? No. Oh, good. Let's ask the terror. Oh, divine power, shed lights upon her fate. Yes, I've seen everything. Hmm. I can sense a dark presence within your boyfriend. His heart seems to be possessed by a demon. The demon may hide itself away at times, but when it strikes, it will br bring with it great misery. But what kind of misery? You will be hospitalized for severe injuries suffered by the domestic abuse incident, and he will be arrested. What? Hospitalized? Arrested? I knew I shouldn't have let Yuya throw my holy stone away. He said I shouldn't be wasting money on some dumb rock, but I should be giving it to him instead. <coughs> this is my punishment for letting him do that, right? Please, let me buy another one from you. What? 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 You want another? My next stone will need to be even bigger. I'm a little low on cash at the moment, but you said I can pay in up to 36 installments, right? Um... Truthfully, I feel breaking up with him would be the best. I can't abandon Yuya. For real? She really thinks her boyfriend will stop being abusive as long as she has a holy stone? There's no way that could be true, right? The thing was a fake, remember? <sighs> right. It could make our jobs way easier if you could really change someone's heart with a holy stone. But it's clear Chihaya has some fortune teaching Helen skills. But that stone isn't going to do anything. Hey Ren, why don't we change that Yuya guys for ourselves? I mean, he's hurting this woman here, right? This is the perfect chance for the Vapor Thieves to save her. Hmm? Hmm? Meowing. What? Uh, hey! Are you eavesdropping on us? That's an invasion of privacy, you know? That's not good. It's not good to scam people. I don't appreciate your accusation. The thing is... You see, some fates in this world are simply inescapable. The demon within your boyfriend's heart cannot be, uh, <clears throat> exercised by normal human methodology. Fate is absolute. Although, I guess you might be able to control the demon's temper if you bought another holy stone. Um, I'm not entirely sure who you are, but do you know of any other way I can approach this problem? What's your boyfriend's name, please? Huh? His whole name is, uh, Yuya Uchimura. Um, what do you... Why do you want to know? What are you planning on doing? Uh. Yes, what do you expect to change with that meager information? I'm gonna change fate. What? You honestly believe you can do something? Yeah. <coughs> I, I trust you. Excuse me? I feels as if he's telling the truth. Besides, Yuya has all my money. He's going to pay me back someday. But for now, I would rather put my trust in this one boy than in 36 payments for a holy stone. What? You, what do you think you're doing? If you keep making false accusations like that, the divine power will rain punishment down upon you. You look so pleased with yourself. Hmm, I've seen everything. The vision of you graveling from Fine. the ground. Fate cannot be changed, and I will prove that fact to you. If that woman stays with her abusive boyfriend, she will meet a horrible injury within a year's time. Now, if you honestly believe you can change her destiny, go ahead and try. But once you realize the error in your thinking, come back and let a true expert handle things. I will save her. With a holy stone. Well then, are we done here? I'm way too busy for this. I wonder where we're going tomorrow. 
quite literally tomorrow. Whew. I made it on time. I suppose I'm still safe if you're here. Thank God, because I forgot his voice. I can't be late today, too. <laughs> no, I was up very early shooting a news show. I have much more work in television because of the Phantom Thieves. I have permission from my school, but it's still tough to do both. Uh, I can't keep complaining. Well, let's both do our best today. Yes, let's. Let us do our best today. Or that's all. Sorry, I shouldn't be saying that. And I, my voice is already sore as it is. Oh, that would just make my... Uh, I feel like I could give myself a pretty good catchy voice if I tried. It's so gross and humid, even through it though it's the end of June. Oh yeah, in Japan, when the rainy season ends, we say that it opens. But in English, it's more common to hear people say the rainy season comes to a close. Be careful. Expressions for the weather are totally different depending on what country you're in. Now then. How about you? Which of these animals is involved in an English idiom about the weather? What's it raining, guys? Cats and giraffes? Cats and cows? Cats and snails? This like, come on. Good. That's right, raining cats and dogs. Raining cats and dogs means it's pouring rain. The strongest theory for its origin is that the sound of rain resembles that of cats and do or dogs and cats fighting. Some other European languages describe bad weather as dogs' weather too. Hey, did you get that question? I wasn't even close. You use that kind of smart. Oh shoot, there's a little. You must be really smart to answer questions like that. Yeah, little, little, little. Additionally, in Norwegian, they say it's raining witches, and in Polish, they say it's raining frogs. Each country has its own way of describing heavy rain and its own metaphorical substitute falling from the sky. Mm. Oh yeah. Over here they say that when a cat washes its face, it rains. I wash my face every day because I like being clean and that's not true at all. Oh, but I'm not a cat, of course. Uh-huh, keep thinking that, Mona. And please don't talk, excuse hey. me. Hey, we can't, yeah, yeah, we are going, we are going, jeez. This is gonna be, er, actually I should probably do the correct outro. Thank you all for watching this episode of Persona 5 Royal. In the next episode, we will be going to Mimetos, and also known as Mementos, to um get some quests done. Now, we have a few quests that we need to get done, and we definitely need to get uh, Chihaya's quest done ASAP. So I'd like to thank you all for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, share the video, and we will catch you on the next, hopefully not super long episode of Persona 5 Royal. Peace.